Hey guys, welcome back to another stretch break. So this one is going to be based on morning stretches. So this is an exaggeration, but this is kind of what we wake up to some mornings. And you might be stumbling downstairs, just waking up and run into something like this. Some of these stretches will be for picking toys up and not hurting yourself doing that. And maybe just to get you ready for your day. So let's have some fun with these morning stretches. All right, so first things first, make sure you have a clean space to do this. We're gonna be on the floor today doing most of these stretches, getting us ready. So uh, if you haven't done one of these before, up here in the corner, there'll be another link to the other stretch breaks. And these will just continue to build on each other as we go. So this is just a quick little five minute, get you going in the morning video. So we're gonna get started in what we like to call the 90-90 position. Okay, so I'm gonna lay on the floor. I'm actually gonna tuck up in a fetal position just like I heard some bad news. And I'm gonna hold my knees together like so. And then I'm gonna make an L with my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm gonna sweep up over the top and around it. I'm gonna watch where that hand is going. I'm just gonna do three of these on each side, taking my time, making sure I'm breathing all the way open and all the way closed. This is one of my favorite ones to do first thing in the morning. It really opens up your T-spine, rotates those hips, really gets you ready, stretched out. It's just like a good morning stretch. Okay, then we'll flip to the other side. Boom, little break dance in there. And then do the other side. What's nice about this one is you only need the amount of space of your length, right? So for your arm length. So it really doesn't take much room. If you use a towel while you're doing this and slide the towel on the floor, you can even get a little double out of it and clean the floor as you're going. Nice little sweep of the floor. Beautiful. All right, for this next part of the stretch break, we're gonna roll onto our back. This is what we like to call glute bridge position. So I got my heels dug into the floor. I'm gonna make sure when I raise up, I'm pushing my hips towards the sky from here. I'm gonna drive my elbows down to the floor, open up and then raise up over my head. And then I'm gonna to try to bring those elbows all the way back a little further, rotate and reach. This is a good one for opening up our chest working our shoulder range of motion. We're also getting the added benefit of waking up our glutes, oh, telling everything it's time to get woke up and get work done or pick up the house or whatever you got for the day. Reach up, down. Let's do one more. There we go. Now who said stretches can't be fun? Sometimes you might even have a kid jump on your lap and you get a little benefit of an external load and get some weight training in and down nice and easy. All right, from there, we're gonna come into a half kneeling position. So half kneeling position, I have my one knee down, my other knee is up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my glute on my down leg. So I'm gonna make sure that I tip my hip towards the back big chest. I'm going to reach to the front of the room. So push to the front of the room. I'm going to support the outside of my knee and I'm going to rotate and swing my arm around and look where that arm is going. Let's do three of these on each side. This again, T-spine. We're also getting some hip flexor moves in there. Okay. Also working a little balance. So I want you to see it from the side. So I'm not here. I tuck my hip and then I drive forward and then I get that rotation. So it's a three part step, okay? Make sure that you're doing all the parts. Don't fail one and try to go here because it's not gonna feel as good. And you're kind of not using the stretch to its fullest advantage. Beautiful, switching legs, okay? So same position, switching legs, okay? Tuck that hip first. So think about pushing your pocket to the front of the room. Reach and rotate. Beautiful. Reset every time. And 
Last one, reach and rotate. Beautiful. All right, this next one, we're gonna do a little hamstring work. So we're gonna get back down on the floor and we're gonna finish with just a little core wake up, okay? So here we go, down on the floor. This is what we call bent knee hamstring, grabbing behind our leg, kick that leg up nice and straight. We're just gonna do three of these on each side. You can relax your head down. It's all about those hamstrings. If you get a little leg shake, that's what we're looking for. Make sure you drive your heel up towards the sky. Don't point your toe, you're losing some of that stretch. Switching sides. Remember, grab behind your hamstring. Kick that leg up straight. Last one. And good. And then our last little thing, just to wake our core up, we're gonna come into what we call the dead bug position, okay? So you're in 90-90. I want your hands down at your side. All we're gonna do is we're gonna extend like so and tap our heels to the ground. Make sure your core stays tight. Don't allow your back to arch, okay? And then we're just gonna pull back up into that dead bug position. Let's just do four of those nice and slow. Tap, bring it up. Again, this one's more about waking things up than it is about stretching. Just making sure that everything's awake and ready to support you throughout your day. Like a good cup of coffee. It's all about the support and relax. Good, nice work. So that concludes our quick little stretch break. Thanks for spending five minutes with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. As always, if you need anything, please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time for a beautiful little stretch break.